Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. In this tiny little box, I have a Shearwater Terek dive computer. Uh, so the Terek is the very first watch size dive computer that Shearwater have created. Uh, basically, it's a Perdix AI, uh, but put into the size and the shape of a wristwatch. Um, and uh, it's got all the sort of functions, the air integration, all those kind of bits and bobs, as well as a four button user interface. It's got that nice clear screen uh, and very easy um, sort of user navigation. Uh, so let's take a look and see what you actually get inside of the box. Okay guys, so first of all, it comes in this neat little box. Uh, this is much the same as the Perdix AI, that kind of semi-rigid box um, that's gonna keep it nice and safe. Uh, undoing the zippers, you've got the clamshell in the top. And then inside, you're going to see your dive computer. Uh, but we're going to look at that in a second. Uh, we're going to have a look and see what you also get with it. So in the top, you have this little hidden section. Uh, so inside here, we have the USB cable. Uh, so that's for the, um, the sort of induction charger uh, to recharge the, uh, the watch itself. Uh, you have a Ziploc bag, uh, this has got a little carabiner, a, uh, a Bluetooth dongle, as well as two uh, sort of Allen keys. Uh, these are for removing the straps, um, so you can swap over the straps, um, and it's nice that you get a pair because you need two. Oh, and you also get a replacement pin as well, that's quite nice, just in case you lose one, uh, they, um, they just send you one um, to do with it, that's a very nice feature. Uh, that's it in the top, underneath we have some foam padding. You also have an extension strap. So this is for the dry suit divers or if you're wearing it over a, a thick wetsuit. Uh, a nice chunky uh, sort of strap on that uh, and the same sort of anodized uh, buckle on that. Quality checklist, make sure that it's got everything, they've tested everything uh, and it's all working fine. Shearwater Terek, unlocking the air integration on Terek. Uh, so if you've got wireless air integration, you want to um, sort of connect that to a wireless air transmitter. Uh, it just goes you through those steps. Uh, it's pretty simple and because it's um, Shearwater, it's, uh, it should work on the, uh, the serial number of the, um, of the transmitter so you don't have to keep repairing it every time you go diving. Um, it's sort of paired for life. A quick start guide, uh, definitely read through that, make sure you understand uh, how to use the dive computer. Um, it's fairly, uh, so the user interface is, is pretty easy, uh, but it's always worth going through the quick start guide uh, and a couple stickers as well. Okay, so the computer, as you can see, it comes on this uh, little charger. So this is uh, injection, uh, just a bit like your, uh, your toothbrush. Um, that just kind of sits on the side. You plug in the USB port at the back and then uh, that will sort of charge just by uh, sort of pop, uh, popping the dive computer in position. Okay, the dive computer itself. Uh, so what sized? Uh, it's fairly chunky, um, sort of fair comparison to like a Suunto DX or something. Um, it's, a, it's a rugged sort of sports watch design. Uh, the strap itself, you've got two little retainer straps, uh, a decent chunky strap on that, um, nice and soft sort of matte finish on that. Um, on the inside, rechargeable battery, obviously, so, um, so don't sort of go opening this. Um, you've got the decent buckle with a uh, sort of black matte finish on that, which is very smart. The buttons themselves, these are nice and chunky. Um, because Shearwater is a, a Canadian company, they've been testing it out with really clunky gloves, and, uh, and yeah, they, they've got a definite uh, sort of positive feel to them, a nice um, sort of push and click. Uh, the screen itself, uh, I'll switch it on in a second so you can see what it's like. And um, so because this is a, uh, a wristwatch, uh, it doesn't have the same kind of uh, either dot matrix or, uh, or that kind of segment display. It has this, uh, this OLED sort of style display. So full colors, uh, nice big screen, nice easy to read uh, sort of information. Uh, I'm just gonna cycle back to the watch. So, starting off as a wristwatch that you can wear day to day, you either have the analog function uh, and you can cycle through different uh, screens on this. So either everything from the dates, your battery and the, uh, the day, the second hand, the minute and the hour, you can cycle through on the info just to go through the different modes. You also have different faces, um, which you can then cycle through those different modes again. And then the final one, which just shows you a little bit of everything, Again, you can cycle through and, uh, and just show what you want. 
Okay, then we're gonna go into dive mode. So this has beep and vibration. Uh, so it has an auditory alarm and a, um, uh, a vibrating alarm, which is, uh, which is nice. You can also change the vibration. You have a few different settings, whether it's single buzz, two buzzes, uh, sort of positive and negative buzzes. Uh, so depending on your preference, you can change that. Okay, so this is your main dive screen. This is an open circuit recreational. You've got your current depth at the top. You can then cycle through by pressing the info button and that goes through all sorts of different information. And then you can also change the brightness of the screen as well. So this is the light button. So pressing that, it will cycle through off, low, medium, and high. So you can control exactly how bright that screen is. High if you're diving in really bright areas, but it will sap through that battery life. And then you can cycle through sort of off if you're not gonna be using it for long periods. Um, function goes through the, uh, this is how I get to the compass first. Um, and you can sort of mark certain bearings and as you come off, it, uh, it tells you which direction to go. Or if you click on show, you actually have these little um, sort of markers. If I get rid of that, these two little markers, they're gonna stay on the screen. So you know at all points, even during the dive, which direction is north and which direction you wanna go in. Uh, I'm just gonna switch that off uh, and unmark it as well, go back. Okay, going through the menu structure. So the menu structure is nice and straightforward. The two left hands are your up and your down. You then have select and then home or backwards. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into watch uh, and that goes back into uh, sort of watch mode, sorry. Uh, okay, watch tools, alarms, timer, stopwatch, flashlight. Flashlight just makes the screen white uh, if you're um, sort of caught short and you can't find the, uh, the lock to your door. Uh, it will illuminate itself and you can find your way around in the dark. Uh, the watch face we've already seen, but you can change um, the watch face. Let's go back, change the alerts, vibration only, beat and vibrate, uh, sort of silent mode. So depending on your preference, if you don't want it to beep underwater and join the chorus of beeps that you usually get in the water, uh, you can just have it vibrate on your wrist and that really does get your attention when it needs to. I'm just gonna leave it on vibration only. Uh, the logbook. So this has one dive, this is the test dive that they would have done in Canada, uh, and it shows you that little graph, and uh, you can cycle through a bit more information. And then back. Bluetooth to connect it to your, uh, your desktop computer or uh, even a um, uh, sort of smartphone or a tablet, you can download the app, and that should then talk to, um, to the dive computer. And then settings. Separate settings for open circuit recreational and uh, sort of deco. You can change your different gases. So right now there's only one and that's air. We can then cycle through and then I'm just gonna switch this one on. I'm gonna change that to 31%. And then that moves it up to the top, but you can deactivate it just as fast. Um, it's very, very quick and intuitive to navigate around. Compass, display, just gonna pop into the display. Depth in meters, you can have imperial or metric. Uh, temperature, colors, colors is cool. So you have different themes. So right now we're on standard, but you can cycle through different ones. So night mode turns everything red. Uh, Predator turns everything green. Um, but uh, you can sort of have your very own custom setting. So values are a certain color. You can change through those depending on your favorite color. Lots of colors in there. Go back, uh, then you can have the titles a different color and then the units a different color. You can really customize it so it's exactly your watch. Okay, brightness we've seen. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into too great a depth. Uh, you can see most of these menus as I'm flicking through. Um, but yeah, very sort of easy user interface. You've got that four buttons and these are a real good uh, sort of chunky buttons. You can feel those, uh, especially that they're working. Uh, a very tough little dive computer. Okay guys, so there we have it. That is the Shearwater Terek dive computer. A nice little watch size dive computer. All of the technical functionality that you'll need in a dive computer in a small, compact, smart little package. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.